into our second match of the day here at the China Masters, Shenzhen 2023. And we've got another women's singles one for you. An Si Young versus Wang Chi Yi, the Korean top seed here. Hoping to make up for the fact that she didn't win or didn't get to the final at least of Kumamoto. And she will play, the winner will play. As you'll see here, Nozomi Okuhara. What a result that was, beating the seventh seed, Gagori Mariska Tunjung. After a very tough year for the Japanese shuffler. She'll be absolutely delighted with that result, but it will be a tough match for in the quarterfinals. That is for tomorrow. Right now, she can sit back and watch this. Let's see what happens here. We'll have uh, good Chinese support here for Han Yue. Oh, sorry, for Wang Tzu Yi. Han Yue's playing. He'll jump in a little bit later on. So these guys have met eight times before, seven to one in favor of An Si Young. I'll tell you a bit more about that in just a short while. Just looking back at that head-to-head -head dimension. She's won the last four meetings. That was all this year, An Si Young. Wang Ji's only win was in the 2022, the semi-finals of the Asian Championships, but these meetings date back to 2019. An Si remember, has just come back from a bit of an injury layoff. They can see her 21 years of age only, 170 centimeters tall. She's from the south of Korea, the world number one. An Si Young, 10 titles this year alone, world champion.
from the Japan last weekend. Apart from the Masters Japan last weekend. Had that knee problem, as you can see, very much uh, a fair bit of strapping on that for Anse Young, and uh, it meant that she missed missed out on the European leg after the uh, China Open. And so her, sort of a, her comeback was last week. She's been playing uh, her home tournaments, the Korea Masters in Guangzhou. Done there. Listen to that support for Wang Ziyi. Wang Ziyi, 31 wins, 19 defeats this year. Or 2023. Compare that with Unsa Young, 71 wins out of 77. That is an outstanding record. It's also a lot of badminton. And maybe it just. Uh, Started taking his toll. Oh, that's one you would almost always put your money on. But Anse Young to at least return. It's good. Played 17, won 10, lost 7 in the second round. <laughs> Looking to try and dominate these rallies, these points, uh, I'd say, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, has lost her last two second round encounters. That was at the French and Denmark Opens um, against Chen Fei. She lost to this very opponent, Anse Young, at the China Open. Well, not to you now. Your two point lead. You only won three of the last seven, by the way, in the second round. Not to you. That's because, of course, she's um, outside of the top eight. To be seeded becomes a bit tougher. That's this year alone. Overall, in her career in second rounds, 29 second round wins, 17 defeats. So. Seven of those defeats, that's 11 shots, by the way. 
Seven of the 17 have come this year alone. see in terms of ends which one so young is more comfortable in good placement fantastic from so young Compare uh, Anso Young's record in second rounds. Overall, in her career, she's played 50 of them and she's won 43. The last second round defeat she had was to Hanya in the Malaysia Open last year. A year and a half ago was her last second round exit. She actually she suffered two and three there because. She also lost surprisingly to Iris Wang. 32 was. She was had she had to retire, to be fair, at Indonesia Masters. So really one you could probably count. Then. But she is struggling here. Down by five. Could be a matter of, of course, the ends and the drift, and we'll see more about that later on when they swap ends, but she's pulled one back here. This year alone in second round matches, well, I think you'll know that one. It is 13 in a row that she has won. At the interval, though, it is Wang Tiyi in front, 11-6. Sung Ji Yun is Wang Tiyi Young's coach, imparting some knowledge here. Top seed is trailing by five. It up here. Not something you say too often about Anse Young. Could well be, of course, as we said, just the uh, choice of ends at the moment with the uh, drift playing part. But it's uncharacteristic at the moment from her. Against Chinese players in second rounds. This year, well, overall, I should say, for her career, she's 
one six lost three. That's interesting. Three of the seven losses she's had in the second round in her career. Almost half have come against Chinese players. And yet Malaysia Open last year is one. Herbin Zhao, China Open in 2019, and Chen Yufei, China Open in 2019 as well. Those are the three, but it's been a long time since then. She's coming at her, Wang Ji. Oh, to the hole and didn't work for her. It's interesting to see that uh, her record against Chinese players overall is a decent one. It's 29 out of 47. has been the sort of bane of her existence. She's got a much better head-to-head -head record than Anse Young does. Lead is five here. Now six. This is great stuff for Wang Ziyi. So when we look at Wang Ziyang, okay, we'll go back to the Malaysia Masters of 2022. Well, this is getting better and better for Wang Ziyi. The last 21 matches that Wang Ziyang's played against Chinese players, she's lost just three of them. And uh, all to Chen Yufei. Almost a very good record, so she's really improved against Chinese players. That's out. of her 29 wins against Chinese players have come in the last year and a half or so, so she's really got better than that. Today, she is struggling, and she may well be a game down by the end of this, but we've seen that the ends are making a difference to a certain extent. Winning by seven here. We've had a bit more patience here from Si uh, Young. Ended up winning that. And uh, you feel that if it goes into a longer rally, that Si Young would in general be the one favoured to win it. I haven't seen that many of those. Looks to be out. Never now, is she mounting something of a fight back here? She has not managed more than two points in this entire first game yet. Not something you say too often about Sue. Can she do it for the first time here? Nope, still not yet. The 
This is, as I said, quite uncharacteristic. I'm so young. She's played world number ones seven times. Yeah, there was almost a nonchalance about that shot. It's a whopping eight point lead that Monty enjoys. As I said, she's played world number ones seven times. Uh, most of those have been Akane Yamaguchi. She's only beaten once at the Indonesia Open quarterfinals last year. She's played Chen Yufei as well, which was one number one in uh, 2020. There's a whopping nine game points here for Wang Yi. This is quite incredible what we're watching. Well, this has been excellent from Wang Ziyi, who's taken this first game very, very comfortably against An Young. Remember, who was bundled out of Kumamoto Masters Japan last week at a 21-8 score in the third game against Chen Yufei. Here, yeah. 21-12. This is interesting. Wang Ziyi will be delighted with this. Yeah, Second game, level play. Wang Ziyi here, who has shades of Chen Yufei, as I've been reliably informed. Yeah, this is it's not often you're seeing Anse Young losing the first game. Not just losing the first game, but losing it convincingly. But it's a change of ends here, and we'll see if it means change of fortune for her. Whether well, she's a bit more comfortable. The unforced errors. Continue into the second game.
It is fantastic start here for Wang Ziyi. Two unforced errors to begin with for Ansi Yang. Highly unusual. This is brilliant from Wang Ziyi. Just saw Ansa Young pound the forehead. There's a bit of frustration going on. Again, a rare sight in 2023. That 21-12 score is bettered only by Akane Yamaguchi once and Chen Yufei once. 21-8 and 21-11 they've beaten An Young in the opening game this year. So, Wang Ziyi is challenging this one. She felt that was in, but that just shows you how good it is, or what, how special that scoreline is, 21-12. And this Anse Young. In both instances, by the way, when she lost her first games, she went on to lose Anse Young. Is there an omen here? That is well and truly out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. One, three, play. Wow, oh, she almost didn't get that one Two, through. Three. That's one you'd expect her to kill off immediately. And even that wasn't really hit the way she would have wanted, and she kind of looked back there. Clearly, something's not quite with her at the moment. So, young. Know. Yeah, she's pointing things out. She's looking back at her coach. This is uh, really not something you see too much of from Anse Young. Last week when she lost to Chen Yufei at the Kumamoto Masters Japan, she had her moments to win that. In the second game. Sorry, the first game that she lost 21, 18 21 and then was blown apart in the third and she almost sort of capitulated early on 8 21 she lost three point lead again for one team It's going very well for Wang Ziyi. Well, I think we uh, we were using the word passive. Well, hold on. That's been awarded. It's Wang so Young here. Well, that <laughs> interesting decision. And the crowd as well, not quite. Uh, Appreciating that, it's a, it's a never an easy call, but uh, it's gone Anse Young's way. Oh, she puts that right very quickly, Wang Ziyi. She's really on top of things at the moment, isn't she? Just not enough on that. From Ant. That's 
gone well long, hasn't it, from the Korean. That's better. From that. Service over. Four, seven. The crowd trying to get really behind. Uh, So yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, something some effect, I think. And it's just out. That was um interesting to see that she pretty much had the lead from three all in the last game, never looked back. Point to you. And she has led from the start here. Had. There you go, 35 shots. You would imagine and to be able to win it. To you now, wants to press home this advantage. Three points, you need a lot more than that. Much bigger cushion against someone like Gunsa Young. Skims an echoed. Ah, I, I just, you don't see this that often at all. From the Korean. Number of unforced errors today, tremendous. Even from uh, Tunjung, Sung Ji Hyun, trying to give her the advice. That a little bit more what we're used to seeing from her. Her opponent all around. Just uh, looking at her hand, they dived to Thank you. make that save.
was worth challenging. Tough to see. <laughs> no doubt what the uh, crowd make of it all. It is in. And it's clipped the line. She needed that badly, didn't she? These lap rallies getting longer as well. Oh, great shot. Bunzi Yi. Actually, did well to return. That could have been going out. That one definitely is going out. Much more of a contest. But it's certainly not a different ending, better fortunes for Bunzi Yi. Not yet, but. Remember, I said earlier that Bunzi Yi just needs to have as big a cushion as possible. It was four points she was leading by. It's three in a row for Han Si Young. That's a great shot for Han Si Young. as uh, Antoine was bearing down on her. She just released that bit of pressure. She's got a little battle on her hands. So at the interval, Wanti leads by three. Having already taken the first game, she is in a fantastic position here. And it's Anse Young. She looked like she needed something there. Wang Ziyi. Not happening for now. Just keep an eye on that. She's 
got a three-point lead. All of this will have been, of course, noticed by Ansu Young. Sometimes, of course, when you you know the enormity of the situation as well, it can it can also bear down on you when you are playing the informed player of the year by a long, long way, and that player has not been bundled out this early of any tournament in the 2023. Then, yeah, that's a lot going through your mind, but that is an excellent shot from. Monty. Just not enough on that left. It's easy one to put away. Left the solve a bit exposed there. Let's see. Huh? That's a good shot, isn't it? Service over. Just inside Ten, the line, stretching. Monty. Really nice shot from Monty Young. But these have been few and far between. That is another excellent shot. Similar to what Ansa Young just dished out. Ansa Yi does the same. But neither one of them able to put on a lot of points at the moment. Again, and there's not enough lift, sorry, not enough uh, height or depth on that lift, and you're going to get yourself into trouble. It's an easy one to put away again if I want to eat. Tries to maintain this three point lead, this cushion. That's one she really ought to be finishing off. Want to eat. And it looked like she had. That's a young mercy. Couple of nervy moments. Oh, the Chinese shuffler. Stayed in, maybe. Long rally again. Oh, just stretching again, going for that far backcourt. Better from Ansu Young.
A lovely shot. Just pushing to the back. Just a point in it. This is about as close as it's been since it was 9 8. Number one, he has led throughout. That's oh, given out, and that's where Anto Young is challenging it. It is good, it's in. And that is the first time in this second game that Anse Young has level scores. Is this the moment for her? Once he spent a lot of time there talking to her coaches. And that was probably the biggest amount of pressure she had once he in the second game. She does not relinquish her lead in that sense. Sarah's have returned. Yeah, so young. Thought we might have seen the end of those. Second one in a row. And just when she was looking to apply that pressure, it is dissipating quickly. Now, once a year, she's approaching that finish line slowly but surely. here and so yeah I don't think she's been pushed this far this early on in any round this year Thank you. Malaysia opened the quarterfinals it was one to you pushed her that went to three she eventually won that and so young but in the second round definitely not Wow, what a shot. Putri Kusma Wardani in the Indonesian Masters. She was taken to three, aren't so young. She won the third very comfortably. And look at this. One to E is almost there, two points away. Well, 
Anse Young has played 80 matches this year. That's a lot of badminton. She's won 74 of them. I'm talking about in all competitions. 74 wins. She's only lost six times. Chen Yufei has beaten her three times. Tai Ching has beaten her a couple times. Uh, Akane Yamaguchi has beaten her a couple times, I should say. That's the kind of quality of player that's beaten her. Oh! And that is now four match points for Wang Ziyi. Truly a special moment here if she can put this away. Four match points. Anse Young can't do it. What a win this is. It's absolutely massive for Wang Tiyi. And the biggest win of her career. Outside of winning titles. Only the seventh loss in 81 matches in 2023. And what's most significant about this, it is the first one that is outside of a final or a semi-final this year. So this is a massive moment for Wang Tiyi, playing the informed player in World Badminton. Two upsets in a row here on court one. And Anse Young, we must remind you again, has come back from a bit of an injury layoff. She's forgotten a racket, by the way, on the courts and all the excitement. Wang Tiyi, but... A special, special moment for the Chinese player. And a huge result here. Wang Tiyi of China beats the top seed. An Young is out. The Korean is eliminated. 21-12, 21-16. Wang Tiyi wins in 47 minutes.